Ready. Like you're on mid-season form there tonight. Uh, well, you know, the first game, usually you are very excited to be back, to, to play again, to play in front of your fans. So if you, you have a, a little extra motivation compared to other preseason games. So I guess we were all pretty pretty excited to and happy to be back. Did you like the uh, the way the, the rotations worked, the amount of, amount of time that everybody got to get a little something? It's happened. very hard to get 19 guys happy. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, we all want to play more. We all want to get in shape and feel good about our game. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a process. And, you know, considering the circumstances, I thought I was going to play less. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with those 16. I don't know what the rest play. But, of course, we, we need some quality minutes from the key guys to to get used to playing together and uh, you know especially Paul, Paul is the one that is going to be a part of a uh, big part of our game and uh, we need to to adjust as, as quickly quickly as uh, we can same in the second unit with David Lee Deadman or whoever ends up playing mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I think we was a good step forward how did you think Paul did you know it was a little you know it was a word um, like hesitant, still trying to figure out uh, a couple of plays that he usually makes. You know, he slipped, or but this is completely normal. First, first game, and uh, he's trying very hard to, to fit, to to be productive. Uh, it's gonna take time. It takes time to everybody. So we we completely understand, and uh, I think he does too. He's an expert. He's he's been around. Were well, you putting pressure on yourself to kind of? still be the leader of that second unit while other guys are transitioning to playing more? Uh, I don't know if, if it's putting pressure. I mean, it's what keeps me alive, to say in a way, right? To, you know, yeah. feeling important in that second unit and, and getting, that, getting that ball moving and getting everybody involved. Um, I, I think we play in a fun way, some, some, in a way that we all enjoy, uh, the ones that are playing in that unit. So, Hopefully we, we keep it up um, and we involve everybody and we get Kyle to to play his key minutes and John too when when it's gonna be his turn. But uh, at the beginning we're gonna have to to get David and, and Dwayne adjusted quickly too because it's quite different. You said that's gonna be an adjustment period for Paul. Can that period be sort of frustrating? I, I don't know him that well. Um, I think it was frustrating for Lamarcus last year. Yeah. In the first couple of months. I don't know if he, what he thinks. It, it just looked like that. But you know, you're coming from a, a completely different environment. You're used to a different type of game. Um, so it just takes time. So hopefully, he understands what's going on and he's patient. Um, and again, it's just one game. It's not that he he's been struggling. It's just you know one preseason game, so he he'll be okay. Was it nice to get a break from Pop tonight? Hmm? It's nice to get a break from Pop. <laughs> yeah. No, but a Pop in preseason mode is. Uh, <laughs> it's another We've pop. noticed that too. Yeah, it's a different Pop. <laughs> so yeah, we all did a break. I remember a couple of seasons ago where he was such a great mood <laughs> when we were in Turkey and Germany, yeah. and then after one game he was Pop. <laughs> so yeah, I don't expect him to go. Serbian uh, in preseason, but as soon as he thinks there are some uh, important adjustments to make. Yes. Was that a sign of things to come for Bertans, or did he benefit from them not closing in on him and not you know, working him too well? Yeah, I think preseason that usually happens. Uh, teams are working on different rotations and you know guarding the pick and roll one way, so you don't really adjust or you don't scout that much. So he found himself open. Uh, more than it's going to happen later. But regardless, it's good that he made them, that he felt good, that he went to the room hard. Um, uh, yeah, I think it was very positive. Hey, he came Mark. in like people talking about him being a great shooter, but does he have a little more leaping ability than maybe than people yes, thought? Yes, definitely. Uh, I saw some highlights yeah. on his uh, getting dunks and, and good blocks, but I think he impressed us all uh, in the last two games. Got some very nice blocks in, in Phoenix. Um, today the dunk and now he he got hops and that combined with a deadly shot and good basketball IQ he can really be uh, 
an important addition. When you brought in, it was with David and Tim and that kind of Twin Towers look, and then the league kind of went away from that. Mm -hmm. And then you guys kind of brought it back last year with Tim and LaMarcus, and now LaMarcus and, and Gasol. I mean, mm -hmm. do, you, do you look at is that that's a way to punish the small ball lineups that um, are kind of prevalent? Yeah, um, but as always, I mean, you, you can punish in a way and then suffer another because the league has gone small with a lot of shooters and, and usually bigs, old school bigs or bigs that have been around, tend to shift towards the paint and in this league you can't get to the paint. Mm -hmm. You, you get a card sometimes smalls because you get a switch. So it, it takes uh, a little time but uh, depending against the team you're playing. Some teams you can get an advantage because of that, some others you're going to end up having to change to four smalls too. So uh, I think we're going to see how it goes. Mono strange not to have him, Tim Duncan in that lineup tonight getting on that floor for the first time in a long, long time, obviously. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, we got used to, you know, not seeing him for a game mm -hmm. or two because of rest or whatever. Um, but now it's, it's been like two weeks of practicing and, you know, you, you can tell. And when we all have our routines pre-game and, you know, him not seeing him is uh, is strange. Uh, and as, as everything, every big change, it takes a little bit of time to adjust. But of course, we're we're all gonna miss him. Thank you, sir. All right, Manu.